All legends take losses, similar to Dipset. I'm Jada in the ring, swinging a guillotine hatchet. Call my gun Amber Heard, cause she real ratchet. She always trying to pop a nigga, such a bad habit. So, I replied back to this gentleman to let him know, like, that's not where I'm going with my YouTube channel, or with my content in general. Uh, not anymore. I'm not trying to reach millions and millions of subscribers that had gazillion of dollars. If it happens, it happens, but I'm not trying. I'm just literally hashtagging old five dynasty. That's it. So I told him, thank you for the information, but I'm choosing to deliver my content in this manner. My goal is not to have millions of subscribers. My goal is to document my life. This is why you don't see me doing the things that are suggested. And that right there is suggested a lot. Like, oh, you go on YouTube, it's a million videos that say, oh, this is how you should market and promote your channel. This is how you should put your keywords. You should probably go on Google, look up the keyword generator and find out what are the hot tags right now so you can put your, you can get your videos in the algorithm. Like, this is what he's trying to sell me. It's like millions of videos on YouTube already talking about that. So, I said, I appreciate the concern, and I'm pretty sure somebody else would benefit from your knowledge. Thanks again. Basically saying, like, just go tell somebody else, man, because you don't have to tell me. I, I already know. I already know. And it's not like this guy liked my content so much that he was like, yo, I got to get behind you. I got to push you. I got to do this. I got to do that. You know what I mean? Like, if you go on his, on his profile, it's Digital Marketer Agency at ITC Group. That's his title. So, he sees something that he thinks he can fix. It's not genuine. Do you understand what I'm saying? If it was genuine, like, yo, I like that video you did. Oh, that, that, th those lyrics you were spinning, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that video, the, uh, the dancing you did, or the artwork you did. Like, oh, I've just checked out like 20 of your videos. Let's push you. Let's get you. Then I'd be like, oh, all right. He really is, you know. And a, a supporter of Old Five Dynasty. He really wants to help me. So then I might look at it to see what he says. I didn't even look at it. I didn't look at what he what he screenshotted me. I, I didn't even look at it. But even still, I probably wouldn't have done it. Because that's not the way I'm gonna go about it. I'm not. I'm not gonna it's not gonna happen. So then after that, he said, okay, and he left it alone. So Again, if he was really for me, he would have still put it. But now I'm trying to tell you, man, like I see the potential in you, brother. <laughs> like I see this going far. Like you, you just change it for me, man. Something like I really want to see you at the top. Like you just put okay. Because these people don't be for you, man. Now, if I took his advice, he'd be like, oh, now do his more advice. But this, this, this advice is $70. This advice is $500. That's how it is, man. Because everybody's trying to get to the top. They thirsty to get to the top, son. I'm not thirsty to get to the top, son. I don't care, man. I don't care. I don't care. I'm only thirsty to be great inside of me. Now, if I'm comfortable with myself when I wake up in the day, every morning, I'm good. I'm Gucci. I don't need, I don't need the, the, the cars. I don't need the jewelry. You don't see me with no jewelry. You see me wearing jewelry? I don't need no jewelry. I got on a, on just a regular hoodie, man, and a hat. You, you see this hat like like 500 videos already. I don't even go out and buy new hats. and be like, I got to have a new hat for every video. I got to look through. I got to put my logo on my hat, too, so I can always market and promote my, my brand, my, my company. I don't do none of that stuff that y'all do. I don't do none of it, man. I'm not you guys and you girls, man. I'm different. Facts. I can't be bought. And I can't be sold. Any of this garbage that y'all is trying to sell me. I can't, it's not going to happen. I'm just going to stay humble. Just do me. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. 
And that's it. That's it, man. So I wish this guy well, though. <laughs> I know this guy a little amp right there. But I actually do wish him well. All right? Wish him well on his ways. Let him let him go do what he got to do. And build, up, build up your company, bro. But you ain't going to do it over here. And, you know, I, I could have easily ignored this thing. I could have very easily ignored that. But why? I didn't want to ignore it, man. I didn't want to ignore that. I mean, especially it's on LinkedIn, so it's on, you know, a little professional. I mean, I don't want him telling his buddies, like, yo. <laughs> but I wanted to prove a point. I wanted to see his reaction. That's what you guys need to get to sometimes. You got to get to the reaction. You got to see what their mindset is. You know, I learned that from watching this gentleman. I'm not going to say no names. But if I give you a little scenario, you probably you probably can figure it out. Maybe like a two years ago, gentleman is minding, minding his business. And some people on, on a podcast show said some stuff about him, about his career. And this individual individual was saying, like, why you keep why y'all keep bringing me up? It's been so like long ago. Just leave me alone. Then those individuals say, Oh, do you want to play in traffic and stuff like that? And now, you know, this guy, now he's big though. You know, minding his business now, he's big on YouTube. But you have everything is a teachable uh, excuse me, a teachable moment. You gotta watch people. You guys don't watch and learn. You watch. With blind eyes, you got to watch with open eyes and listen with open ears. Every time something came up in his videos, like in his live streams and stuff like that, when he was talking with somebody, conversing, or going back and forth with them, he always set them up so that they had to explain themselves because he wanted to know why they were saying what they said. So that he, once he found out why they were saying what they said, he was able to dissect and counter every last thing. You know how many conversations that he won the battle in because of that? Because he once he got down to the nitty gritty of it, of what the person's real true intentions were or are, he was able to eat them alive. That was a teachable moment for me. And that is what I have implemented into myself as well. Got to respect those geeties. <laughs> Got to respect them, man. Got to respect the Sigma males, baby. Got to respect us, son. Because our minds is nothing to play with. It, it moves faster than yours. We might not be the best at stuff, right? But it's, we still move a little bit faster mentally. I'm telling you. And also, I'm a Virgo. Ooh, I'm a Virgo? Come on, son. <laughs> I want to jump into the topic. Right now, I have like a family, right? Gucci. Gucci family. Beautiful family, right? But, you know, I don't have the best of, like, relationship with the significant other. Like, we are on totally different wavelengths. Like, her mind is way different from my mind, man. Like, how we see things. And I know opposites attract and blah, 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 right? I'm not talking about that. That's, like, many, many years ago when you first meet, right? And I know people grow apart, and this might be a part of it. But I see, like, mentally... Like, women, they have something with them that's just a little different, man. And they don't understand us males. And I know it's hard to understand us males, but there's certain needs that we have. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know they, women, they say women need, need have needs, but men, they have needs too, man. And I'm at a point where I'm thinking this for males. And when my kids get older, like, I might have this conversation with them. I think males need to just stay away. Because there are too many problems that have come up 
because you're trying to mess with the opposite sex. I'm going to be totally honest with you guys and girls. Some people might look at this video and be like, yo, we you talking about? Men need women, women need men. No, I'm really... I work hard. And when I got... like, When I started to mentally turn over to be like an adult, it was late. Because men turn over late, especially when, especially when their household is not right also. When they don't have good role models like OG males in their family teaching them the right way, it takes those younger males a little bit longer to actually turn over. That's why you see a lot of youth get us a lot of trouble late, uh, late uh, into like their early 20s, mid-20s. They still get in trouble because their minds are not turning over. They didn't have the right guidance. So by the time my mind started to turn over to be like, you know, a full-fledged man, like an adult, it was already too late for me because I already had started doing stuff. I already started having you know, children and things of that nature. So now for me, I'm stuck in a situation. But for men that are coming up nowadays, I think they should really think, think real hard about this, man. Because you, honestly, can be so successful if you don't have a lot going on. Like if you don't have children that you have to take care of. If you don't have a woman that you're always worrying about, that you got to make sure her needs are met, then you always have to make sure your needs are met because you have needs as well. And if those things don't get met, then there's a problem. There's always fighting and arguing. There's always stress. There's always worrying about this, worrying about that. And what I'm thinking is, if I could do it all over again, I would just stay single and be by myself and just go make my money. Because I'm not a man that's all about money. But I know I could have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of it if I was just grinding dolo right now. Just dolo, just making moves and not not worrying about this and worrying about that. Because once you start doing all the intercourse and all that stuff, you start really, really worrying about it, thinking about it constantly, and it becomes a problem. That that's a that's a problem, man. I honestly believe that men got the short end of the stick when we were created. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lord. Don't strike me. But, <laughs> but why do we have to always crave intercourse? Why is it like, oh, like we think about it too much all the time. Like so you, see, you see a girl walk by, you like, you start looking like, I don't want to do that. I want to, like, they don't look at us like that. We, But why we got to, Always have it in our minds to like, oh, look at that butt, look at the look. She pitched that. Why we gotta do that? They can turn it off. They can turn it on and off like it's nothing, man. Nothing. And it's like I'm looking like, wow. They literally could just turn it off. Like you be like, you ready to do it? You want to do it? And they they go like one day, two days, three days, four days, five, a week, two weeks. Three weeks, you're like, yo, like I, I'm a man with needs. Like, do, do you understand like how much a man thinks about it in a day? You can look it up. It's literally on Google how many times a man thinks about that in a day. So if we really, really want it a lot, not and not just once. You can't just give it to us one time and then oh, oh yeah, you, you he good, huh? No, <laughs> after you get it that one time, you got you now you want it again, 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 and again. And they shut you out. So that mentally, you're focused on that. You should be focused on your career, your craft, getting out there, busting your behind at a workplace, and getting that bank account moving up. I feel like we got the short end of the stick, gentlemen. <laughs> and you ladies, a lot of y'all are not kind to us, man. You don't treat us right in that field. I'm be I'm be factual, real factual. So if I had it. If I could like go a magical genie wand, do it all over again, I would stay single. I would not mess with anybody. And I would just go to work, 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 and just watch that bank account just rise. And then I would live a comfortable, comfortable, comfortable life, man. I mean, I'm living comfortable now because I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable in my own skin. But imagine being comfortable in your own skin and having those riches. <laughs> Well, who wouldn't want that? So, yeah, I don't know, man. Might have to get me a genie and a lamp. 
or a genie in a bottle or something, rub it. Oh, come on out here, man. I need those three wishes, son. You got to help a brother out. Say now. <laughs> Let me stop. I mean, I love my family, but yeah. Facts. Gentlemen, young man, you might think about staying single and just rising before you do anything. Facts.